Hello, hello guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Uh, let me go ahead and give you guys a couple minutes to um, pull me up. Uh, let me know that you're here. Let me know that you are watching on replay. Let me know what you're up to this week. Uh, let's go ahead <clears throat> and pull up the comments. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. We are here, we are going, we are doing well. Uh, again, let me know that you're here. Just say hello, drop me hi. Let me know that you're watching so I can make sure that these comments are pulled up. Oh, and I see you guys popping in. So hello, hello, good evening. I see Vicki coming in. Uh, I see a couple more faces coming in. So come on in, say hello. Uh, today we are playing with, we made a trip to the Dollar Tree, my favorite place ever. And I picked up one of these really cute wooden boxes and then, funny story, side story, while we wait for some people to come in, I actually saw one of the other designers put her paste in these. And it was, they sat like this, and she slid them in, and it was really awesome. She had them like stacked, and she had a whole thing set up. Uh, and it was really cute. I'm not going to do that, though, because I had another thing in mind, but it's only a dollar. So, um, that was an excellent idea. Uh, so we're going to use that. Another thing I picked up from the Dollar Tree when I was there is this. And it came on a longer pole that I cut. Um, but it's just a really cute little welcome windmill. And I thought that was super cool, super kind of like country chic, rustic thing going on there. Uh, some other things I picked up, just some floral and some, this is kind of like a grass, but I got the brown instead of the green. And I will be stuffing them in the basket. Okay, so everything came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I do have my hot glue gun out and ready to go. I will be gluing pieces together. Here some stuff. This grass is really making a, a huge mess over here. Okay, uh, so I got asked recently what side of the fuzz mat you're supposed to be using. And you could really use either side. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, one side's fuzzy and one side's a little rougher. Um, I would assume that this side kind of might pick up more water if you're trying to squeeze out your transfer to reuse it. Um, but either side works absolutely beautifully. Okay, so either way you're doing, flip one, flip it over, use them both. Uh, you know we are all about getting the most bang for your buck. Okay, so this is a size A transfer from our brand new catalog release. It is so fabulous. Uh, it is called, exactly, it is called Clean My Kitchen, okay, it's size A, it says make yourself at home, clean my kitchen, okay, and then it's got some really cute stars, uh, just like with so many of our transfers, this can be pieced apart, this can go all as one, you can use these accent stars in another transfer, there are just so many different ways you can use this. Uh, today we are going to be using the make yourself at home part of it, and I am going to put that right onto this box, okay? So the very first thing I did was I painted it just with a, it's called Country White, and I think it's bare paint, but it's just a regular paint, uh, and I went through it and painted the whole thing. You don't have to paint them. If you don't paint it, it's kind of like a natural wood color. You could even probably stain it. You can't probably. You absolutely can stain it. Um, and that would be really cool too. Uh, my kitchen and my home is um, more like a blue. I have some sages upstairs, but the downstairs is mainly blue. So I try to keep to like blacks and whites. Uh, I love using the antique white. I got, this grass went everywhere. Okay. As long as your grass is not in your transfer, you'll be okay. Um, and it will wash off. But I'm telling you, this stuff definitely goes everywhere. Okay, so I painted this just the white. I'm going to go ahead and lay some surface wax on it because it is not a chunk couture surface. Okay. Uh, you can apply it with a paper towel. I'm going to just use a regular, this is kind of like a rag towel that I have. <clears throat> okay, and I just rub it like this. Chalk couture wooden surfaces are normally um, wet, pre-waxed. They wax them before they send them to you. When you get a chalk couture surface, there's always going to be a tag with directions on it. Uh, that direction will tell you whether you should wax the surface or not. 
If you are using a wooden surface that is found, uh, one that you purchase, one that you have, one that doesn't come from Chalk Couture, chances are to be safe, you're gonna just take some surface wax, okay? We offer great surface wax, it's very affordable. Um, and you're just going to gently put a protective layer on that surface, okay? And just by rubbing it. And when you rub it, you wanna make sure that you are not clumping it, okay? You want it to be just a nice, thin, smooth layer, right where you're gonna put your surface, or your transfer. And the reason you're gonna do that is because it's kinda of like a protective barrier for your transfer. Okay, the second reason you're gonna do that is because if you slip, like if your transfer is wet, or if you move it, or any of those kinda of like silly little things that we gotta be careful not to do, um, you can just scrape it up with your detail tool and that wax will allow that paste to come right up because again, it provides that layer. Now our transfers are silk screen, okay? Which means that there's a layer, a silk screen layer on top of the vinyl. That ensures that you get a precise design almost every time, okay? So if we're messing around and we're doing some of the techniques, um, sometimes it will, will wash the transfer in between and it'll get wet and it'll slide. Uh, but for the most part, uh, especially if you're using a newer transfer, you're not gonna have any problems with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay that right on it. And I think I wanna put it down on the bottom. So I thought it was gonna take up a lot more space than it does, but that's okay. I am going to put it, it takes up two out of the three pallets, so I'm going to put it in the middle and on the bottom. Okay, so it looks like this. It's off to the side. Okay. And I just have some regular black velvet. Uh, this would also look really adorable with any of our shimmers. Uh, I was thinking about doing colonial blue. You guys know me. It's one of my favorite colors. Uh, it matches my decor perfect. Um, but today I'm just going to keep it basic with the black. And that way I know it's going to fit wherever I want to put it. Can't go wrong with the black. Okay. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of paste goes a long way. In the sampler packs, you guys get about three ounces, three milliliters. I'm sorry, not three ounces. That'd be a lot. Uh, these are four ounces. So you get three milliliters in the samples, and that's enough for a, um, a B-size transfer or two A-size transfers, if not even more. Okay, so you really don't need a lot of paste. It's going to look just like this. Okay, we can see my design all the way through it. There's not a whole lot of drag marks in it. I'm then going to pull it up. I usually stick this in my water bath, but I did not get one tonight. Um, I'm going to let this dry. You can either touch it with your blow dryer, or you can just let it dry for a second. We're just going to let it dry for a second because i got to get my hot glue gun out. What I'm now going to do is I am going to move my towel. I'm going to glue this. I just have a regular piece of board, scrap board that I also painted that same white. I'm going to glue my board and my little tray together down at the bottom down here. Okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um you know what? I think I'm actually gonna blow dry this too because I don't want to put my fingers in it. So give me a second. Only takes a second. And guys, this would seriously just be a like one and done craft, and that would be super adorable for anything, okay? So you don't need to take it to the next step if you don't want to. Um, that's absolutely gorgeous on its own. Of course, we're gonna take it to the next step and create like a little, I hope my hot glue holds. Probably I should've used my heavier glue. If my hot glue doesn't hold, I'll just take some, um, I have some wood glue. We're going to hope this works, though, so, because I'm not really hanging it off anything. And then I'm just going to put it in the bottom, but in the middle. I'm going to give it a second. I'll just make sure that's on there. Okay. So I did this a couple of different ways. I initially, so I cut this down to size, and I initially was going to kind of just put it in the basket but I really feel like it needed something extra to kind of hold on to because it was so big, okay? So instead of putting it in between the box and the board and having it be uneven, 
I put the box flush to the board so that way that's solid, right? So that there's nothing in between, okay? If you want, if you have wire cutters available and accessible, you can cut this right down, okay? And not even worry about the pole, okay? You could also um, do something like where you hook it up to the back and bring it up higher and put another transfer on here. There's all sorts of things that you could do with it. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to put it inside the basket, but I'm going to glue it to the back of it, okay? And then I'm also going to put some glue up here. I want to make sure that it can still spin, but I want to make sure that those legs are going to be sturdy. Okay, so I'm going to lay it down while I do this. concerned with seeing any of the glue down here um, because I'm going to use, look at this, I'm going to use my paste scraper so I don't burn my fingers. Hey, right? Chalk Couture tools for the win. So I'm pushing that down. Um, I'm not worried about people seeing in here because again I bought this fake grass and with that I'm going to um, be covering the inside of this. I'm just going to put the top on my piece so it doesn't dry up. Okay, so this is looking good here. The glue's still a little wet, but that's okay. <clears throat> it's so cool that the art part of this project, like the, the personalized part of it, I suppose, took the least amount of time. Right, guys? Put in that personal transfer in there, because you could really use any transfer for that. Okay, so here we go. Putting the grass in. And then I also thought it would be really cool to, um, so remember I bought this and like just some twigs and stuff, some fake uh, greenery from the dollar store, brownery, because I wanted the rustic look. But I have these like little whispers of grass and I'm just going to put them, I want them to go behind the sign, but like in my basket. I'm just going to put them here. <clears throat> and you can glue these pieces in as well. Alright, so let's try a little of this. Uh, I think I'm going to end up gluing these pieces in, like down in the grass, so that way they stay in there. I don't know, that sign, the sign kind of pushes back because it's long. So I don't know if you need the extra glue, but if you do, um, again, you're using that grass to cover it up. So just put a little bit of glue in the corner and just slide that right into your hot glue. <clears throat> okay, and then this is really personal preference on these. And you can even make it more spring if you want and go with a different type of greenery and a different type of flower. Okay. Again, see how I was kind of going with the metal and the rustic? Okay. So let me see. I'm going to add a little bit more of them. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. All of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree, and I have plenty left over. Um, you can even, so I used these flowers because they were a little bit bigger, and they came with kind of like some twine. You can even put the flower right here. I'm really digging the metal on the windmill, but initially I was going to take the flower and just kind of glue it on there and give it more of a look. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I love the way that it turned out. Um, the fact that I put the board and uh, um, this little Dollar Tree, I don't know, little box, I guess, kind of made it bigger so it's able to stand. So you could easily just add this to a table um, and it quickly becomes a very nice accent piece. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. That was that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go wash that transfer off with some warm water and my board eraser. And um, I will be back on here on Friday. Friday, we're doing a huge uh, launch party. I have seven bundles. I have seven bundles, which means I have seven free giveaway bundles almost, too. Um, but I have, like, jars of ink and transfers and bundles and fun and savings and games and all sorts of awesome stuff. 
Uh, so I will be on actually live on Friday night, and I will come on live, and I will be doing a project with you guys. Uh, so make sure to come in. Make sure to, it's going to be over on the event page. So it's in the group, but under the event. Um, and it's just going to be a lot of fun, kind of like a Galentine's Day launch party thing. Uh, so make sure to grab your craft stuff and meet me back here on Friday night, and we will um, cheers to new launches and warm weather, right, guys? Yay! Thank you so much for joining me guys tonight. Uh, again, if you're watching on replay, let me know. And I will see you guys back here on Friday. Have a great night, guys.